Hello my Soccer Universe, for the first review video for Serie A for the 23-24 season, yes I've been on vacation so I could not make a video there, I mean I could have but I didn't have my <laughs> shorts with me except for the Milan shirt, I used it only to talk about the Milan games which was actually fun to do because as you've already probably known, heard, seen, Milan are really fun to watch this season uh, and at this moment and the way things stand, it seems like we have a race for the 20th Scudetto between the two Milanese giants. Um, I think both looked really impressive and really strong so far. I think that Milan had probably the slightly stronger opponents. However, Inter still not having conceded a goal. Look a little bit more self... I mean, Milan are fun going forward, but I always have questions about the defense in a way. And now with Tomori out especially uh, as well. But Inter look very self-assured. There is a confidence there that, you know, we have been to the Champions League final and we've beaten our city rivals in the semi-final. I feel this about Inter. They look scary at the moment, although I still think I uh, have question marks behind their midfield. So I think both teams have quite good running also up front, although Tyram and Lataro look quite good. But on the other hand, Milan with their direct play, I think when Maldini got sacked and when Tonali was sold, I was very much please show me and now you have to have to do the right. I think they had a pretty much perfect, not perfect, but a very, very, very good transfer window. Uh, and Reinders is amazing, Loftus Cheek is also working well, oh, the whole Chelsea compliment combination is fun to see. You know, you have Polistic in there, you have Loftus Cheek in there, you have Tomori in there, and you have of course Shuryu in there. And you see there is a chemistry between those four. You also have now a counterbalance to the Theo Leao side, you have uh, Loftus Cheek and um, Christian Pulisic uh, and, uh, with uh, Calabria. And as I said, I am mostly impressed by Reinders who I think no one really knew before the season. I mean, I heard about him, of course, because, you know, I'm following a little bit the Eredivisie, but I didn't know that he's that great of a player. So that all look, looks good, and it's really fun to see what Milan are doing, having scored already two great goals. I mean, both of them are goal of the season candidates. I mean, I will I, I, I argue even three. In each game, there was a goal of the season candidate in there, uh, the direct play. Let's see how how it can, it will look going forward, let's say it like that. However, where there's a lot of light, so of course a little bit shade and if we go from Milan down to Rome, ooh, the Rome teams don't look good, especially Roma, only one point from the first three games and honestly they were probably expecting six and uh, similar to Lazio who actually lost their first two games of the, of the season ag against inferior opposition one would say and then they go to Napoli and beat the reigning champions away from home interesting stuff interesting stuff for sure um, I have said it since I was on vacation I did make some community posts so I will just hit now the highlights of the first two rounds I mean I already said the overarching theme is you know it looks like it's Inter Milan and they are meeting right after the international break Again, way too early s scheduled and I, d I, I don't know, I think a Milan Derby should come somewhere October, not at the, it's that early in the season, but hey, who am I, I to judge? So, highlights of the first round. I mean, Verona uh, beating Empoli set it uh, well off well and Napoli also got their season underway. Fiorentina looked really good at, at, against Gen Genoa, while Inter, it looked, uh, you know, against Monza, but Monza is a team that I think uh, many don't know quite yet what to make from them. Um, looked a little bit, uh, you know, so and so, so and so, so and so. Um, not quite there yet, but still looking solid. Uh, Roma against Salentano only 2-2. Yes, it was um, uh, Belotti scoring two goals, which he hadn't done all season. And what Cantareva pulled off, I mean, two worldies right there. Uh, the hipster gave it to Atalanta and Sassuolo was a 2-0. And then Lecce beating Lazio 2-1. This was kind of a ah, hello there. Lecce? Lecce. Watch out for Lecce. I have to have said, Juve looked impressive at Udinese, but we all doubted, was it Juve so good or the, U, U, Udinese so bad? Uh, didn't see much of Torino against Cagliari, but as I said, Bologna, Milan, there's a one minute video out, out there, so Milan looked really fun, especially in the first half, it was so hot that in the second half they just went into cruise control, but looked really, really good uh, to start the season. 
uh, round two, Milan completely uh, validated the empty impression. Uh, thorough performance again against the Real, though giving up a freak goal. Uh, that hey, you know, also the defensive frailties I'm talking about. Uh, watch the third goal uh, where uh, Leao plays it onto Teo on the side and then he chips the goalkeeper. It's a brilliant goal. And also, if you ha haven't, haven't seen it, Pulisic op opener, the. Um, Commentary on Milan TV is already le le legendary. Come on, baby! Come on, baby! USA, USA, USA! It's great stuff. It's absolutely great stuff. Uh, on this, at, at the same time, Ella's beating Roma. Yeah, Rui Patricio not lo looking good. Fiorentina only 2 2 against Lecce. Yes, there was a Rapid Vienna in, in between, but you know, early signs that Fiorentina might not be quite there yet. Also for Juve Bologna. Although this is a Bologna team, I think that we are all underestimated. Okay, well coached, but that, that didn't look good. And then Lazio lose at home to Genoa. Napoli, not much problem. I think it was him and Brace 2 uh, 0 over Sassolo. And then Inter uh, getting a job done at Cagliari uh, without giving Cagliari any chance. And uh, seeing anything. So really really good stuff from Inter too and then we get to the uh, pre pre sound Verona's really good start and went uh, pear shaped with uh, Sassuolo beating them 3-1 Roma Milan I think for 60 minutes Roma did not see a ball or any anything Milan controlled the game left and right they should have left more than just a penalty by Giroud at the half they scored another brilliant goal by Leao. I don't know how to, how to describe it. It was not really a bicycle. It was so close on the opponent, so low. And it was kind of also a little bit slanted. But it was a brilliant goal nonetheless. An absolute brilliant piece of skill by Rafa Leao, who now is opening his uh, account for this season. And then Tomori, for his second challenge, gets the second yellow card. Yes, I guess they were both yellow cards. And the first one was a little, a little bit soft. But at that, that moment, I mean, you have to be smarter as a defender because it was not really necessary to make that foul. And at that point, Roma then found their second wind in a way. They brought on Lukaku, could have scored with his first contact. Um, however, still Milan then managed after about 10 minutes to get the game under on lay. Lay down, it was a freak deflected goal that gave Roma uh, the consolation prize. But I, honestly, yes. Roma probably would deserve that one goal, but if I look at the uh, entirety of the game, I think if it was 3-1 for Milan, it would be more reflective of what we have seen. Then I haven't really seen much of the other games. I mean, Atalanta against Monza, I think might be an impressive result. Uh, Bologna getting a win over Cagliari. Frosinone uh, have also had a really good start for, for, for a promoter team, but you know, the standard tie was Napoli against Lazio. And stupid me, I mean, I was about to watch that man. Uh, there's no doubt about it, because this was for me the standard fi fixture in, in, in the evening. But I did not realize this, this is 1v2 from the last season. I knew that Lazio went to Napoli, when Napoli had this big lead already to win, but I didn't uh, really re realize that. And Lazio, after losing the first, first again, of course they beat Napoli away from home. Because Sarri just does do that. A uh, very compact team, uh, taking all the strengths away from uh, Napoli, plugging all, all the holes. Uh, really nice goals. Also, also, also got uh, the winner from, from Kamada and Luis, Luis, Luis Alberto in there. And there were two goals also disallowed for, for them for offside, at least the one by Guendouzi. I think they were, uh, it was tight. It, 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 it was really tight. I mean, when it was 2 1 on Lazio, and with those two goals going in and being choked off, it still seemed to hurt uh, now Napoli more, and they have, of course, questions already asked. Will Rudy Garcia move on? You know, now that Spalletti, he was already out with you. Uh, he's now the Italian national team coach, which I also find rather interesting. But I am still not convinced by this Rudy Garcia signing. Uh, that doesn't look quite right. But you know, early doors, I don't want to say that Na Napoli is all. all out of the title race. However, uh, because why Napoli had to play already in a black jersey in the second game of the season, that I will never understand. Inter, as I said, really impressive against Fiat Fiorentina. Turam scoring uh, his account, final, uh, opening his goal scoring account, and then Laut Lauter getting a brace. Juve uh, stumbling against Empoli, but Lecce against Salernitana, this was also a big win. And so after three rounds, the two Milan clubs are up, are, are, are up top. Not so many goals scored, 2.56 uh, at the moment. Juve and Lecce behind. Those, those are the, the four teams that are on top. But you know, Atalanta, Na Napoli with only one loss and also Ellas 
Although I think Ellas and Lecce will probably fall further down. I want to see what the Roma team will do. At the moment, Roma is in 18th place. Yes, they have now Lukaku, but it will take some time. I think Roma looking already in an uphill battle. That's for sure. I want to see what Fiorentina can do because this is a team there's so much to like, but it never quite gels. Let's see. Uh, expect final standings due to the loss. Napoli is now behind Inter. I would say Inter may be still be the strongest team, although the most fun team is Milan. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. On the bottom now, Frosinone have, having moved off is Sanitana, Kalia, Empoli. Empoli really look bad at this very, very, very moment. Curious to see uh, whether Ellas will tend upward or whether they will fall back, similar to what Udine did last season. And I already said the upcoming games, I mean, due to the Champions League being played after all the Champions League play already on Saturday, so we get a 3 o'clock Juve Lazio. Hmm, interesting, interesting. But that might be a really interesting thing, of course, the Milan Derby. I mean, already one we we be two. This could show us a whole lot, uh, especially whether the transfer window of Milan could actually combat the weaknesses they have shown uh, this year so far against Inter. That will be a game to watch, and I'm all for it. Unfortunately, Lasse is all playing more or less at the same time, but that will be the game to watch for, for, for me. I've cleared my set of the schedule for that already. Uh, Genoa Napoli. Also an interest, but not as good as the other two, so I'm, I'm questioning a little bit of scheduling. This means also that the rest of the um, uh, weekend is a little bit a dot. At least we get Fiorentina against Atalanta. That could also be an interest, interesting one. And maybe let's see what Roma can do against Empoli. So that's it for me so far from Serie A. I'm planning to do roughly weekly updates from Serie A, at most by bi-weekly, so a little bit tighter schedule. Uh, then for the other leagues, except for the Austrian leagues, we are also try to do a similar schedule. Any case, please drop a comment below what you thought and what you think uh, who will go on, what will happen in Serie A. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, so that to my channel and want to see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.